Hi, I'm Chuck Dorsett for Weaver Leather Supply, and this is the Leather Element. If you've got a good question for us, or a good idea for a leather element, drop it in the comment box below. Also, if you want to know when our videos release, just click your notifications. You'll know exactly when these come out. So the wing divider. I don't know if I would call this an essential tool in my shop, but it's a big help in a number of places. It can give us both speed and accuracy. So let's start on our pattern table. I'm hoping there's something here that's going to help us out. One of the places in my shop where a wing divider is the biggest help, circles, ovals, and oblongs, absolutely these can always be an issue. Now Weaver, let's back up. So right here we've got two levels of quality. This is engineering level quality. This is a beautiful tool. We've got this in two sizes. Best part here, beyond the quality. First off, we lock our arm, but also our points. Those are as sharp as a needle. We'll see where that's going to help us here in just a second. Now, for those of us on a budget, and I am absolutely, this is a great wing divider. It's going to do everything we need it to do. Very affordable, and right there, we simply adjust. But again, very accurate measurements. Now, let's jump back over to this, because a circle, this can always be a problem. I can absolutely mark and then cut a circle, but it is not going to be perfect by any means. Here's a little trick with these. So we're going to use our wing divider to cut our circle. So this is a simple pattern. It's a coaster. So I've got my outside cut, my main body, right there, that's my stitch line mark, and then right there, that's the area that's going to get stamped. So let's do this. Let's take our wing divider. Let's say we're going to do a three inch circle. We need one half inch on our measurement, and we are perfect right there. Again, notice how accurate we can be with these. So we're going to cut a circle here. So let's take one side, let's press that in hard. Now on this side, let's just spin either our compass, our wing divider, or our material. Okay, we've come a full circle. Now, the camera probably can't pick that up, but I can see it pretty well. But we're going to have to cut this. How about we just use the wing divider? Let's go around four times. And I think that's about four and a half turns. There we go. Let's see what happened. How nice is that? Now, did that take a little time? Actually, if I'm going to mark this and cut it, this took less time and it's more accurate. We can do the same thing with ovals and oblongs. But the best part here, unlike a template, we've got a center mark every time. A groover is one of my favorite tools. I use it everywhere. Primary job of a groover is to literally groove a line in the edge of our leather for sewing. So now we've got a guide here, but we also have a groove. So when we sew this, that thread's going to sink down in that groove. It's going to reduce the risk of it snagging or grabbing. But I also use it on every edge because it gives us simply a nice edge decoration. Well, sometimes, though, there are leathers that we don't want to groove. This is our Jasper Chrome Pull-Up. Love this leather. But when we groove that, actually, it's going to give us a very pretty edge. But we're not looking for that. We're simply looking for a guide. So on our wing divider... I like to go an eighth of an inch, so let's bring this down to an eighth. Perfect. Again, very accurate. Now, we can simply use that as our groover, and we have an almost invisible guideline. I have to say, I think the one place in my shop where I use my wing divider the most for setting spots, because we can use this three different ways. Well, first off, let's say we want to drop spots in three inches, every three inches on our strap, and we want these centered. That's a one and a half inch strap. So let's come out to three quarter inch, good. So now I simply butt to the edge and I can mark. But also length, if I want my spots every three inches, but I feel pretty confident I can hit my center mark, then we can simply mark, turn, mark and turn, and we're gonna have an exact distance between every spot. Now, the one place, even here, that I use this the most, because when we're setting spots, we need to take these spots and we need to mark with the spot. We need to press those in. That's tough to do. It's hard to keep in my hand, 
particularly since I'm right-handed. But let's do this. Those are eighth-inch spots. In fact, we don't even have to measure that. Let's lay it down. Let's tighten our wing divider down to the tine width. Perfect. Now, when I've got my mark, I can straddle it. Not only can I see it, but it's not difficult to hold. Now, one downside here on our very, very nice set is that this is only going to go down to about three eighths of an inch minimum. So that's not going to be a big help when setting our spots. But again, I think this is the one place where I use my wing divider the most. I don't really consider myself a top-notch tooler. We don't have to be to love it and to get a beautiful outcome. The point here is that a wing divider is going to be a big help for one reason, consistency. That's everything about tooling. Here's a great example. So right here, I love an outside border line. To me, that finishes off the design, makes it stand alone. Here's a good example without. Well, it still looks good, but in my opinion, that finishes off our design. So with that, I'm probably not going to put that on a pattern because if I scribe that in, it's going to be incredibly inconsistent. So I'll tool the design. Then I'm going to come back in with my wing divider. Now I have that nice hard edge. I can scribe all the way around. Even my circles makes it very easy. We can even add a second parallel line. But on that, what I would suggest, instead of trying to follow the line we've created there, let's just use that hard edge. Let's double the width of our wing divider. In fact, over here on our quiver, I've done the same thing, but I've added our die right out to our scribed line. Now, consistency with lines. That's one of the biggest points, parallel lines. In fact, if we could get our parallel lines clean, that's going to take our tooling up three steps. Well, it's easy to do with a wing divider. Say we're just going to add a border. Well, let's take this whatever width we want, and we simply use our straight edge. We have two perfectly parallel lines, and with a wing divider, that's absolutely going to work. There we go. So to me, it's easier just to use the wing divider than to try to make an additional pattern piece that's going to be flimsy at best. Whether we're looking to add a little speed or a little consistency to our projects, the wing divider is going to do both. Like I said, I hope there's some trick or tip in here that's going to make the time in your shop a little more enjoyable and your projects just a little more consistent. Thanks for taking time to watch The Leather Element. Good luck with your projects.